Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to the Robo Citican Assembly in Stellaris. Last episode, we successfully took out the Unbidden. We've got one uh, fleet left in here to uh, take on before we can head down here and take out the last uh, stronghold. Um, I was worried about them based on the size, but uh, as with a lot of things, range makes all the difference. <laughs> I, uh, th this is, this is one of the reasons why I use, uh, the Giga Cannons. Um, they, they are very, very long range compared to, uh, everything else. And can just easily chew through, um, your opponents. Um. And, and the big thing is closing that gap between the 120 and the 80 for the lar for m many other large weapons... Uh, that makes a huge difference. I mean, because we're, we're just pummeling them that entire time. And as you can see with the Unbidden, they can't make up that distance. Uh, despite their plus 538% weapons damage, ship hull points, and shield hull points, they just can't make up that, that difference at all. All right. I'm a little bit nervous about this angle, uh, but let's try it. I mean, there's not a whole lot that the uh, rest of the AI can do against uh, these fleets, but, you know, we'll leave it to them. We'll leave them to it. Uh, they don't have uh, regenerative uh, hull plating, so it's not... Too much of a problem? No, it's just... Okay. For a second there, I thought that was like a, a 2.4 uh, million fleet. There's a reason we... <laughs> Alright, here we go. Let's see if uh, anyone jumps in on us. And hopefully they don't jump in on, like, right behind us kind of thing. Whoa. Alright, let's do that. There probably will be something that jumps in. I'm, I'm, what I'm worried about is something jumping in right over there. If something jumps in over here, I don't care. Ah, uh, good. I can upgrade that now. All right, you uh, just go back to automatic survey. System survey complete. Situation updated. System survey complete. Yeah, no one's jumping in on us. Okay, spoke too soon. Ah, dang it. Since we're focused on this thing now, it might, uh... This might lead to some problems. Uh, we can upgrade that. Go ahead and work that for now. Okay, got that taken care of. Now you're going after this one. Construction. Well, they haven't hit us with any weapon fire yet. Situation log updated. Okay. 
All right, looks like we stayed uh, uh, far enough away from them long enough. So that's pretty good. It would be interesting to see just how many battleships you would actually need to take a fleet like that. I mean, you know, having 854k is almost cruel against these, but you saw how easily I chewed through the 1.2 million. Situation. Now that said, um, I'm pretty sure I had way, way, way more ships than they did. Alright, let's pop down here first, and uh, then I think we'll go to war against these guys. Um... They are still showing up as superior. I think I'll probably want to take their home world. Ah, you know what? I'm going to need my... Uh armies over here. Alright, let's go here. Of course, I'm going to lose a source of uh, Garanthium. Do we know where there is a source of Garanthium? There's Lytheric Gas. Is that something that I'm getting in trade? I think it might be. Uh, let's see. Yes. Okay, so I want to take... I want to take Saldar. I feel like I might want to take Medgar, too. Um, but I want to take the this core stuff up here. Mother, Cradle, and Brother. Alright, well, when my armies get out here, then we'll, we'll see. There we go. Sentry Array completed. Exactly what technology is housed in the ring that encircles the Sentry Array is a closely guarded secret. The results, however, are undeniable. We now have virtually perfect knowledge of all the fleet movements in the galaxy. Well secluded, I see all. Activates galaxy-wide sensor range. So, that's what it is. Just boom, sensor range. We can see all of the fleets. Uh, all of the, you know, military stations. Uh, can we see where there is a... Mm. Ah. Ah, that's an artisan troop. Poop. Alright, uh, no, I do not know where, um... Any more of the... Maybe they got destroyed at some point, or they didn't spawn. I've... I don't think I've ever seen them not spawn, though. There's a dragon sword there. All right, it doesn't give you, like, actual survey details, but, uh, um... 
there's Granthium down there. All right, maybe uh, getting some. Yeah, maybe Medgar down here would be good for Granthium. Now oh, that's going to be a pain. All right, let's see. First of all, uh, what can I what can I sector out before we do this? Well, no, I can wait until I I win. Totally gonna win. Um. Yeah, let's just wait until my uh, army gets over there. Also, actually, uh, we do want to get started on another one. Alright. So, what have we done? Um, okay, the Dyson, the, the Dyson Sphere is, is next. Now, what I like to do for the Dyson Sphere is build in a system that already has some things. Like, like this would be fine. Um, or this would al also be fine. Because it'll it'll preserve these minerals. Um, you can build Dyson spheres in, in systems like this with habitable worlds, but they will become barren, icy worlds and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and build mega structure, Dyson sphere site. So we've got the Century Array site, Science Nexus site, and of course we've done lots of habitats. A Dyson sphere fully envelops a given star, converting all solar output directly to energy credits. Let's go ahead and get started on that. And then Tau Signe will be our ring world whenever we can actually build that, but that's a separate tech. follow them. The reason why I don't want to split up my army is because I fully anticipate there being uh, a very large fleet to face with titans. And that I'm not so sure on. The, the titans, I'm not entirely sure on what the best way to face them is. Um, Alright, it did some more colonization. Well, shucks. Oh well. Um, because the, the Titan laser is incredibly long range. Like, just absolutely ridiculously long range. society output, but there's just not a whole lot else to do. Well, yeah, we'll do this, because it's a, an empty tile. There we go. Losing some adjacency, but that's fine. But yeah, it's pretty nice to uh, be able to see where all of the fleets are. Oh, oh. Where did you just move your fleet? Where are you at war with right now? The Eruxo. Alright, so let's see. Oh, 
Well, I guess it's only 292k, right? I thought they had a 600k somewhere. Again, I was misreading that, thinking that was, uh... Two mil. Okay, there's a Titan there. 356k. There's another Titan, 358k. So this one has no Titan. 140 escorts. They have weapon damage plus 179%, ship hull points 214%, shield hit points 224%, and lots of other bonuses to other things. Not sure how they get those weapon damage bonuses, though. Alright, as long as we only have to ta face, like, one of those at a time, that's not too bad. That's one of the reasons why I'm, I'm going with the, the, the enormous fleet that I have. I'm not splitting it up. Okay, you're in. Let's pause it. Declare our war. Alright, Gauzor. Oh, wait, I know. Yeah, there we go. Cradle. Brother. Mother. We'll take the preserve. Why not? Um. Alright, before we take those, uh, this is 38. I wanted. Medgar, in case we got some good stuff down there. Mm. Now, you know what? I should probably take chunks at a time and expand out from there. Uh, so, the preserve is in Wicklar. So, Rant... Fernutopia... Rig, uh, Zabine, Escola, all right, so that's that group right there. What about Bion? Bion Dezat. Okay, might be able to get one more. Alcor? There we go, 99. Let's do this. We have declared war. All right. In we go. Are you robo citizens really that eager to die? So be it. No. Um, I don't think we will die. Incoming transmission. Nope, no star charts. Situation log updated. Jump back to bombard that. Construction complete. All right. Go ahead and work that. Get our energy grid there. Mineral processing plant there. Mining network there. 
another mining network up here. This can have the Paradise Dome. There we go. That's good enough. Construction complete. Take out the mining station first. So much slowdown. Uh, let's actually check to see how we doing on our. Whoops. Battleship construction. All right, you can build. Some, you need some more in the queue. There we go. We'll go take this out and then uh, pop back up. Kalpov Rickshaw. Bombard that one. Actually, let's bombard that when we're done. Interesting construction ship. making a break for it. It didn't. I, I don't know if it uh, got killed or not. Let's see. Uh, probably jumped out, actually. 19 out of 19 armies here. These guys are actually all fairly happy, surprisingly. Oh, there do not appear to be any factions inside the uh, Fallen Empire. The Awakened Ascendancy. I suppose that makes sense to a, to a great degree. Um, it's also kind of cheaty, though. <laughs> not going to have any rebellions that way. Here I am complaining about the, the game cheating for the Fallen Empires uh, because they won't have any rebellions. And it's like, they get Titan ships, <laughs> and I'm complaining about that they can't have rebellions. Oh well. That can be upgraded. Let's see, pop growing here. Let's get a uh, power plant. Almost uh, taken out their defenses. Research complete. All right. Pop not doing anything. Let's go ahead and get some science. Research complete. Building speed plus 10%. Not bad. Um, let's go for minerals plus 5%. That's the only good thing in that group. armies. Oh, 
Okay, all the uh, Husko Peacekeeper fleets are uh, there. Why? Entering orbit. Just repair? Did he finish his war? No, he did not. War score is only 25. Minor mandate fulfilled. Sweet. Okay, now, uh, I'll, I'll be honest, I, I forgot that this was uh, my entire military fleet. Uh, army fleet. I don't need to bombard defenses. <laughs> I really don't. I'll bombard these just because uh, um, it'll protect that, you know, keep enemy uh, enemies from uh, healing and everything like that, but... I'll just land with, uh, with this massive army. System survey complete. Colony established. Uh, Commonwealth of Gofia have uh, decided to join in there. Okay, they're producing more ships up here. Don't know that they're producing anything over here. Doesn't look like it. I'm not sure if they can. Alright, before we, uh, call it an episode, I want to see 29%. Yeah, it's going to be a while. <laughs> it's going to be a little while. Still an uncleared tile blocker there, wow. Well, here we go. Go ahead and take this world. Yeah, see, it, it basically had full fortifications, and we're taking n almost no damage. Enemy planet secure. All right, follow you. Next up, head over here. And in the next episode, that's basically what we're going to do. We're just going to move in, have the uh, uh, the fleet take out any defenses, and then just immediately land. Um, that'll go the quickest. Aha! Usko Peacekeepers are coming up to uh, fight us. Sending up a fleet. This will be fun. See you next time, everyone.